Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, welcome back to uh, Roy XC Projects. Uh, today, I'm going to finish up the uh, Betsy Ross flag. Um, my girl ended up uh, printing these stars out here. I uh, ended up cutting them out and using a razor. Pretty sure it's under here, yeah. Use a razor and then use the scissors to cut them all out. So I have them in the in there right now, masking tape and everything, pretty much on there ready to go. So I just got to put some uh, some um, newspaper over all of this to keep it from uh, getting overspray on it, and uh, it should. Uh, I'm gonna do that right now and get all going. All right, so I got I just laid some uh, some newspaper over it, taped it to where it was closer, so that way when I go to paint, it doesn't uh, get any overspray on it. Like I said before, uh, so masking tape, you know, it's pretty easy, but uh, definitely hoping that it comes out looking good. So since uh, I'm only uh, doing this and I'm not doing like the whole tailgate I'm gonna try to do it with one hand should probably swap out here so only because I need the right hand the right dominant hand. Alright let's see. Oh shoot Alright, now we're gonna let that dry. I'm gonna try to get like three or four coats so that way when I'm out wheeling in the woods or the flags that are on the back of my Comanche are flapping and smacking it and not, you know, scratching it too bad. I don't really think it's gonna get bad or anything because, you know, it's uh. Crap. That star's probably gonna be all messed up, but you'll probably be able to still tell that that's a star. But, uh, yeah, it shouldn't, uh, get scratched or anything. Uh, hey guys, I also wanted to show you, uh, how I mounted my flags. Uh, it's pretty freaking cheap. You just go to, uh, Lowe's or Home Depot or a hardware store that's got, uh, PVC pipe. Uh, I went ahead and I only had to use one table strap, uh, cable strap. Or be zip ties. Um, I drilled holes in there to keep it better in, and uh, there the uh, Comanche comes with a hole right here and a hole down here. But since they're not long enough, I went ahead and drilled a hole in here so that way it accommodate for it, and uh, you know, look really good. And uh, so it came out really good. Uh, on both sides, it holds pretty good at about 55, 60. I pushed it just to make sure it'll hold. I think that was a better way. And uh, so yeah, it looks really cool. Alrighty, so it's kind of been a solid minute. <laughs> uh, that's funny. There you go, we're gonna do another coat. Yeah, we feeling like these stars aren't gonna come out the way I wanted them to, but that is okay. Alright, there we go. Some more. Alright guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and start taking everything off. Uh, that's all I was going to do with it. I was going to hit it like that. Just a little bit. But uh, I think it'll come out looking really good. I hope so. <laughs> yeah. I'm using I'm using our uh, JKU's uh, hardtop for uh, uh, workbench. 
uh, probably thought I wasn't kidding, was kidding around, was playing, but I wasn't. <laughs> but, uh, let's see here. How am I going to start this off? It just don't really matter if I'm stuck together. Maybe. Maybe. Oh. Looking pretty good. Looks like I kind of got a little end of it there, but you know, this is the first time that I have ever done this with a stencil, out of our own stencils that we created. So it's probably not going to be the best looking, but it's still going to look really good. Hopefully, yep. There's a messed up star. Already. Dang it. Already. Pretty sure there's probably gonna be more than one fuck up star. I mean, one star that's messed up. But, uh. No? Oh yeah, that one's messed up too. You can definitely tell it's been painted on with spray paint. Because <laughs> of the, the way that it looks. But it don't look that bad. It's, it's not a circle. It's an oval. So, it kind of sucks a little bit there. Looks like I did get a little bit of overspray random places, which is weird because everything was taped down. But, uh, yeah. There we go. Holy crap, came out pretty good. But uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, looks really good. Uh, I'm pretty stoked. Uh, I'm going to do, start doing some other stuff with my Jeep Comanche. Um, probably going to be uh, putting a tire carrier in. I'm going to take that tire carrier that's sitting over there. And uh, we're gonna cut that uh, piece off, and then I'm going to take the one that's on this one, which I had on there already. This was a Forerunner uh, tire carrier that mounted to the back. I had customized, cut it, and everything to make it fit. So, but uh, I'm not using that no more. I'm gonna go out, do it inside the inside the bed. Uh, tire carrier, so I'm gonna cut both those and mount and meet them together. Hopefully, that comes out looking pretty good. So, uh, yeah, y'all have a good uh, rest of your uh, Sunday. Uh, see y'all next time on Rogue X Shape Projects.